the, the nice thing about the gene therapy approach for inborn errors of metabolism in the liver is there's probably about 35 different diseases in and itself that are well described. Many of these diseases have a well-preserved uh, genetic uh, component to them within the populations. Um, that these have a really well-described um, genotype that we can then target with, with gene therapy. We know the gene that's defective. Gene therapy focuses first at being able to deliver a gene to the cell that is deficient. Um, you can do that in an episomal manner where it doesn't integrate within the genome, or you can do it with stable integration within the genome. A couple of the different approaches that are being used uh, take advantage of the, the, the liver itself at different phases of the cell cycle or different uh, stages of the, uh, the sort of the patient's uh, age, uh, whether it's a person who is uh, very young, a pediatric patient versus an adult. There would be different approaches to, to solving their problem in either, either format or either uh, condition. Um, the liver is, is great because the liver regenerates on its own. And the liver has its own progenitor cells within it, and so if you can target enough of the liver and allow yourself to engraft a stable enough of, uh, of the corrected cells within the liver, um, you stand to be able to uh, correct or stably correct the disease phenotype for an extended period of time or maybe even for the life of the patient. And that's unique. Uh, the cell turnover in the liver is relatively slow. Um, it's easy to target the liver, it's got a unique circulation, um, and the advantages to it from a gene therapy standpoint are numerous for those very reasons. Uh, so AAV is very nice is that it has different serotypes of AAV have different tissue trophisms or selectivity for infecting the liver. Um, these serotypes uh, can get to the liver very, very effectively, infecting um, high percentage of liver cells, depending on the species be, uh, being used. In mice and pigs and dogs and humans, there's differences that you see, but in general, AAV is very good. Certain serotypes of AAV are very good in infecting the liver. Um, the problem with AAV is that um, it's, uh, when it does infect the liver, it's episomal, so that each cell division uh, that you have of the hepatocyte or the liver cell, uh, you dilute out your effect. And at, at a certain point, you would expect uh, that if you try to do this in a child, for instance, a year old child that has an inborn error of metabolism of the liver, that their liver is going to obviously is going through a rapid period of growth and expansion, and that you would lose that effect. In some animal models, you lose that effect in days, um, not, not weeks or years, but in a very short period of time. Uh, the, there are other methods like uh, lenti, uh, using our pseudotype lentiviruses for vector delivery, where you stably integrate their gene of interest into the genome, and you can get stable engraftment so that every uh, cell cycle or division of that cell propagates that gene of interest that you put into the genome. So you can get stable engraftment and maybe stable correction of the disease phenotype with those uh, pseudotype lentiviruses.